Oh yeah, make sure you kiss bitch. No, <laughs> no that's not about her. No. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. What was I thinking? What's up? What, what better to fucking bring out of the, the, the what is it? I always forget the name of our own show. <laughs> You're a master. See that? See that? That's what that. That's uh, what just that so you know, it, this is a uh, T and J rock and metal talk. I know. Rock I just wanted to see. Talk. I just wanted to see if you knew. Me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, well, it's well, a well, beautiful well, day well, in the day. Bro. Oh, you about to pop the guns? Oh, I thought you was taking us to the gun my show. Model, my model is born here, man. Oh, you right side forever. You're too sexy for hey, your look, jacket. Look. <laughs> too sexy for your shirt. But nothing can one. compare with Joe's bibs. Yeah. Oh my God, this is gonna be a great show. Well, let's, I'm let's get excited. serious for a moment. Okay. Let me <laughs> let me take turn it down all the way. Let me pass over the. This show's a little late, but he he passed when was last week. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually we did cry. Salute you, brother. I mean, Scott Weiland when he died, I almost cried, but I didn't. But I did cry because uh, I seen Lemmy and his days. Lemmy the pioneer, pioneer, dude. Pioneer. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, there's shit. Well, you're going about you're. We're gonna find out some knowledge about Lemmy that you I know none of you is new. Only me! Only me! I'm what? the only one that knows all that shit like that! It's I'm astounding! Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> my knowledge is astounding! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about that. That's today's topic, Lemmy. And I mean you could go on for hours on this one, but let's just talk about come on, let me see. You gonna do like uh like the voter heads, like the double bass thing? Oh, here we go. But anyway, okay. Now, Lemmy, we both know he was an icon of music. So how much oh. music, How much influence do you think he had on music? I'll tell you what. People wouldn't give as much of a fuck about the Ace of Spades boys for Lemmy. You mean playing <coughs> cards and shit? Yeah, playing cards. You know what I mean? When you play euchre, or everybody's like, I want that's spades. Exactly what I, that's spades, exactly what or, I thought. I can't even make you know it through I mean? a game. Or, or the correlation between that and, like, you know, the... Dad or evil, or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? The darkness of it, you know what I mean? When I'm Let playing spades, I can't space. even make it through without bitch smacking somebody. <laughs> Especially if I got an ace of spades in my hand, yeah, I'm getting you know bitch I mean? smacked. I mean, that's that I song guess. right there alone <laughs> is, is awesome. Never mind all the rest of the cool-ass motorhead tunes, dude. But, like, uh, they had a, a documentary on him. It's, it's funny, though. They said he would go to the, the, the Rainbow and the Sunset Strip there every... And you could go in there and they said that he would sign autographs all day long. He was cool like that. Oh, fucking Therefore, ass. people didn't want to bother him because ain't that funny how fame works? The ones that are cool, people want to stay back from. Get in their space and whatnot. Yeah, because they are be cool. Be cool with like him, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's cool you be cool. But they said he was Well, that's just human nature, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is, it is. But Lemmy was great at that. <laughs> they said he would wear his... Daisy Dukes and Cowboy Boots. <laughs> e, I'm not sure. <laughs> With that big, ugly, hairy boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm not sure. You oh, needed a bra for that motherfucker. But, thing. but uh, <laughs> I mean, it's funny how ugly that dude was, and he could. He was surrounded by pussy. I mean, just oh. That's but, because uh, he rocked. You know what I mean? I mean, cool I mean damn, dude. I mean, I mean, I can just listen talk, to the music. I can talk all day. Nah, I'm just. I like Lemmy was a pioneer, I did, man. I, I for real. Like I mean, so so much hard metal and, and thrash has come from that's his I'm influence. You know what I mean, so many people are influenced that's by That's why I'm getting ready to touch and, my, and Motorhead. You might not know this, Joe, but I'm gonna school you. I'm gonna school you people too. Hell yeah, yeah, what's up? But the uh, Phil Taylor, I think his name was, drummer for Lemmy Head, classic lineup. Even though all their lineups are great, but uh, classic lineup. But, you got some drugs in these ones? We, that's what you've been lacking on, Joe. 
Bringing in the supplies. Uh, hey, you just, uh, you just ain't been noticing. I've been slick about it. <laughs> it's hard to notice when you're drinking Jaeger. But anyway, uh, Phil Show Taylor got him up. <clears throat> this is stylish. This look, look at his pips. <laughs> but anyway, but enough about you, Joe. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, <laughs> Phil Taylor, their drummer, classic lineup. He uh he got him a, a, a double bass. Back then they'd have to get the double bass. I, they probably made the pedals, but Motorhead wasn't a rich band. I don't think it was that. I don't know about that. I but shit. I don't think they was back then. But anyhow, they he had a double all on bass. Fucking cocaine and strippers. That's what I worried That's done. probably what they did. Do. <laughs> but he was in. He was uh, testing out his new double bass. <laughs> that that uh that like uh, rapid fire machine gun sound. And Lemmy and the guitarists were out in the hallway. Don't, e name? don't even ask me, dude. Fuck! Joe! God damn it, I'm pissed off! I knew you was gonna ask me that shit! Uh, Fuck! I don't know his name. Oh, but anyhow... Should we call Ed? You wanna call Eddie? Maybe he can help us out? Back to the point, dude. Anyway... <laughs> they, was do they heard him doing that in there. They was out in the hallway smoking a cigarette. And they come back in and they said... Do that again. And Lemmy wrote a song around that rapid fire sound. It's called Overkill. The band Overkill is named after the song. But Lars Ulrich patterned his whole style. And if you know about thrash, Metallica brought that in. Even though they pussied up the whole genre later. But anyway, they brought that in. And that is where thrash come from. The style, the double bass and I mean, without Lemmy, we wouldn't there have thrash. There's, there's two bands that you just said he influenced. Metallica and Overkill. Two he, awesome bands. But he not only influenced them, he influenced a whole genre of music. Like a whole style. A whole oh, genre. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like I the, said, he's a pioneer. Oh my he's God. a pioneer, T.W. I mean, his mold can't... It just says it all. I, I think mean, I, if, you're probably... If you're going to go ugly, go really fucking ugly. Most of his inspiration probably came from the mole. I think the mole probably told him what was going on. Uh, he did say it, it whispered shit to <laughs> yeah, him. You know, yeah. The big, ugly, fucking yeah. hairy mole. That mole Woo! probably... probably but anyway, probably all right, enough name. about Lemmy. I don't care that he's dead. He's taking up too much time. Uh, all right, here we go. I think it's collar time. Collar time! Yeah, this one. Hey, thanks for calling in, guys. We we really do appreciate we it, honestly. Hey, what's do. that? What's we that do. website so we can I'll get some more uh, the make... phone number and, and uh. This is me being serious. Thank uh -oh. you. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Hey, oh, shit. hey, what's the what's the number they can call in or or, or get our email? You know what I mean? So we can get uh, some more trivia. The, the the email we really need is some help with that. Tw Blanken eight four eight eight at gmail dot com. You didn't think I was going to get that, did you? No, I knew you'd nail TW. And That's the, old, one, the old, old one know. is back up, too, so you can take your pick. It doesn't matter. Our secretary can check both of them. <laughs> Just kidding. It's Six String Maestro. Man, that's the problem spelling. But it's really not that bad. It's S I X M A E S T R O S. You got to put an S at the yeah, end of it. Yeah, Six Maestros. Maestros. Dot. No, it's not dot. It's at gmail.com. So at six gmail string by strows. Yeah. At, at gmail.com. <laughs> that was like we got, we got a, a, a math quiz or something. <laughs> we, got, we got a number they can call yep, in. Yep, I'm going to give them your number. I don't. Calls it. I mean, I don't have a <laughs> phone. That's fucking nah, funny it's shit. A, it's a pigeon. The, the number is. Hey! What the fucking number? Yeah. I mean, let's, Jesus God Christ, damn it. Bro, every, every fucking, fucking week. Hold on, wait. Listen, they... 937-360-0444. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. got some questions. Hey, think about fucking time. Me. You want to ask Joe something, you can, but you know what the fuck. I man. don't bother asking. I don't know shit. No, Joe's my man. Wait till you see the episode we got coming up. Shit, Joe! Uh, yeah, I want your man. I want your man. Me. Last I want to have it. He wasn't. I want to have it. Shit! But, uh, what the fuck was that? This ain't about you, Joe. Uh, back to bad. the topic. Yeah, all right, shit! Right, right, right. Uh, maybe I'll take a fucking oh, vacation shit. again. Too, oh, here maybe we go. I'll do that. No, I don't do that, Joe. I was just playing. Dude. I'm just playing. <laughs> me too. I, I fucking love being there, man. All right, now I got nowhere else to go. 
Here we go with a caller. The caller. We we said that like ten minutes. Yeah. Ago. All right. What's up, caller? Oh, here we go. Holla, 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 holla. Here we go. Oh shit! Here we go. Mm. Hey, 